Now let me talk about the different uh, recording formats, uh, recording media and recording capabilities that the NX3 allows me to, to use. Uh, we provide two uh, slots for cards. On the first one it can be either an SD or a memory stick card, while on the B card or the second one uh, it can be only SD card. Also be careful because uh, for a normal recording on HD we can use a class 4, for instance, and this is what I am using right now on the camcorder uh, card. But if you are going to shoot on DV mode, you will need a class 10 like this one, because on DV mode we need to, to keep the same bit rate during the whole recording. That is one of the main differences uh, between uh, DV cam and uh, AVC HD. So now let's uh, talk about the recording formats that we have. One of the main menus we have is the second one, as you can see, this one, the Recalc Set menu, in which we can configure uh, some recording options and also the outputs. So the Rec Set menu is very, very important, important. On the first option, you can see that I can set the recording format. Right now I am at uh, 20, sorry, uh, 1080, 25p, and if I get into that uh, menu, I can choose the different formats that I have on my NX3. 50i, it was very typical, that is a codec ABC HD first version, ABC HD 1, but you can see that I have also 50p. One of the main differences is the bitrate. On version 1, which is the, the one we have on the NX5, we could record up to uh, 24 megabit per second, which meant uh, 25p or uh, 1080-50i. In this case, only by increasing 4 megabit per second, so we can reach up to 28, we can record at tw uh, 50p. That is because the correlation between the, uh, the amongst the signal when we are talking about lines, is very high. So just by increasing 4 megabit per second, we can reach double information on my recording. So let's keep it the way I used to use until now. Second uh, option allows me to, um, to have enabled the third and fourth. So you can see that right now we can play with the third and fourth uh, options, but if I come into this option, for instance, MP4 simultaneous recording, that allows me to have on the same recording ABC HD and MP4 recording in, in parallel that I can use as, as a proxy. It's not uh, literally a proxy because it has no time code, but it's very useful, for instance, to download it from the camcorder to my uh, smartphone and then upload it into YouTube or uh, Sony Cloud Media Services or whatever. A provider that allows me to upload it from my smartphone. So, for instance, if I keep this option, you can see that the third and fourth uh, submenus don't appear. So let's go back to simultaneous recording. Simultaneous recording makes reference to have double um, signal flow on my camcorder. So we have two slots with two cards and we have one and two, one on the handle and another one on the hand grip, uh, recording buttons. So it gives you a clue about what is going to happen here. So on the third menu, you can see that we can set the recording button behavior. So we have three options. First one, the three options. First one is uh, in which I can command both cards from either this button or that button. I don't mind if I use the hand grip or the handle button for starting and stopping the, the recording. Second one makes reference to use the record button on the hand grip for commanding the A card uh, and the handle recording button, so this one, for a card B. And the third one is the opposite. So let's put an example of the first option. I set this one, I go out of the menu and right now for instance, let's, let's move this, these balls, these billiard balls here. So you can see that in both cards, they are um, recording the same content right now. If I press either this button or the, or the hand grip one, let's use the hand grip, you can see that now the recording has stopped simultaneously. That is why uh, this function is called simultaneous recording. But now let's configure it with a different 
button configuration. So rec set, rec button setting, and now I, I will use one button on the, uh, on the hand grip and another on the handle for different purposes. So one of them is going to, to, re, to remotely control, well, it's going to command the card A and the other one is going to command a card B. So for instance, let's start with this button here on the hand grip. You can see that I am commanding card A and B is not recording. So now, just for having different contents, I'm going to move these, these balls. And now let's use this button on the handle. And you can see that now both cards are recording the same content, but the clip on the A card started before. Now let's uh, start and instead of uh, the first uh, in first out let's use this one this button this is stopping the recording b and right now the a card is still recording as it is commanded by the button on the hand grip i will stop the recording and that uh, is very useful for instance if you are in a live event let's talk about a live concert and you want to do some split of the songs that the 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 singer is singing and uh, that is on one card and on the second card you are recording the whole event on the same clip. Also in this camcorder we can have the relay recording, the typical professional feature that allows me to record from card A into a card B continuously and then I can uh, output card A and replace it by another, another card. So, it is very well prepared for long-term duration um, uh, shooting. Now let me see how from my smartphone I can remotely operate my NX3. I will do it via Wi-Fi, but uh, as in my Xperia Z1, I have also NFC, as I do on the NX3, I can um, start it and it will uh, ease things for me because uh, instead of uh, inputting the, the network ID that the, the camcorder establishes and inputting the, the password that the, camcorders, uh, pro that the camcorder provides me, I can directly touch with my smartphone on the hand grip of the of the camcorder and through NFC they will start speaking over a Wi-Fi. What do I need to remotely operate the, the, the NX3? So I will need to download the Play Memories uh, mobile from the Play Store. You can see that this is the, um, the applet that I will need. I have it I have it installed already and just as a note I have only that uh, that application running on my smartphone. I will close it and you will see that right now I should have no um, applet running on it. So when I bring closer my smartphone to the um, to the camcorder you will see that right now it is establishing a Wi-Fi connection. You can see the 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 network and the password over there. Those are the parameters that obviously I can accede to them uh, via menu, but now they are shown over there. And now my smartphone is uh, starting to talk via Wi-Fi to the, to the NX3. So let me put it on a panoramic mode. And you can see that there are some parameters that I can play with. For instance, the main, the main one obviously is recording. You can see that once I press the button, it is recording, and you can see that also on, on card A on my LCD, it is showing that it is uh, recording. So you can see that there, there's a, a few, a uh, small delay, about half a second, more or less. I, I think it's a, I, I can live with that. And also there are some uh, things that I can do on my, on my smartphone uh, to operate over the camcorder. You can see that there is a little finger on the hand over there for focus. So I can focus on different parts of my screen on my smartphone. So I'm not touching the, the camcorder directly. So I can play with that on, on different parts of my, of my screen. That is obviously something that I can do 
if the focus uh, mode operate, uh, operating mode is on manual. The same for iris. For instance, right now I'm at uh, 2.4, but I can make the image much darker, much darker, or I can get back to the to the original situation, 2.4. So that is because I can um, I can remotely operate over those two parameters. Also, obviously, I can zoom in or I can zoom out. But let me show you what happens if a focus and iris are not in manual mode, but in auto mode. So I will go to the other part of the camcorder and you will see that. So the moment I turn the focus from auto to manual, sorry, from manual to auto, you will see that the, the little finger and the hand have disappeared. And the same happens when I turn into out of the iris. So in that case, those two parameters have disappeared from my screen. But let's uh, turn it into manual again. Manual again. So the remote operation I can do over my um, NX3 via uh, smartphone depend on the configuration I have on my camcorder. So that is that is something that is happening live uh, live right now. So I can stop, I'm moving the, the, the balls here, and I can start recording again. Now I move the, the balls, so it's very, very easy to, to do. Also, when I close the, the, the application, it says that it is disconnecting, and on the screen, you can see that control with the smartphone is still being applied. You can see the parameters here, here, and if I close that screen, it is finishing the communication, and now the, um, the camcorder is autonomous, and I can uh, operate it the, the regular way.